What's up, YouTube? It's me again. I'm here to do the unboxing of Arkham Origins for a second time. The first time my video was too long and YouTube would not upload it. It like got stuck for like 15, 20 minutes. Probably not. More like two hours. Uh, yeah. So I um, said I'd just do another one. Now unfortunately I've already unboxed this because of the previous video of me unboxing it. So in short what happened in the last video was I talked about the integrity of your packaging and how I didn't want to compromise mine. So I used this big ass knife to open this big ass box. And I apologize because by the last video I noticed that the camera was recording all the text backwards for some reason. As you can tell, it's not Batman forward, it's everything backwards. So, yeah. Anyway, basically the box had all the contents in it that I wanted. It comes with the exclusive Nightfall pack, which you have to go to PSN to download. And I'm still holding this big ass knife just in case somebody comes in here and tries to do a home invasion. I'm going to cut their head the goth. You feel me? So, yeah. With that being said, I gotta keep this video under 15 minutes. So, unfortunately, I can't talk as much as I want to, so that's the reason I'm talking a little bit fast. Can't you tell? Yeah, I know you can. Anyway, what came with the Arkham Origins pack? So, we had a bunch of stuff. We'll get to like the grand finale of the statue. Statue? Yeah statue which there's only one word to describe it well there's a few words in it, but there you go it is a big old green wow yeah and it's pretty badass you know so within the box had little evidence bags this one included a tooth from killer croc she's a pretty badass villain then we had da 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 uh, ten like a ten thousand dollar poker chip from the Lacey Towers murder, yeah. And also in it came a bunch of documents and pictures. This is the schematics. And for all you that needs to know, I will be framing every bit of this stuff. Yes, yeah, so that's kind of nerdy, but uh, I don't really care what you guys think. Well, I do, but I don't. Does that make sense? Next is a wanted poster. For the Batman, as you can tell, the text is still backwards. Nothing I can do. Not sure why it's doing that, but and I'm not in the mood to try to fix it. So it just says, "Wanted mask vigilante criminal known as the Batman, alias the Batman, D.O.B. unknown male. His height is approximately six two. His weight approximately two ten. Build muscular. Hair, eyes, complexion unknown, and his race is Caucasian. So." If you guys see the Batman, make sure that you contact the Gotham City Police Department because I'm sure they would love to apprehend him. Now, we have the map. It's got anarchy all over it. And for, the, for those of you who don't know who he is or what anarchy is, look it up. Because I don't have enough time to go into details because, you know, old YouTube don't support people who support them, it seems like. I'm just playing YouTube, you know, I love you. Alright. Alright, so within this, we had all of our little documents. This is pretty cool, I thought. was uh, The detail they put into the packaging was pretty cool. They got a little black mask thing going on here, which was pretty awesome, I thought. Gotta pay attention to the little things in life. They only have a stencil for anarchy. I was really wanting this to be a sticker, to be honest with you. But, you know, that'll do good. That'd make for a pretty cool tattoo, I think, you know. Because, yeah, you know how it goes. And then we got the family picture of the Wayne family. We have, in fact, we got Thomas, we have Martha, and we got the Batman himself, Bruce. Yeah. So, next in line is a message from Black Mask. Which, I'm pretty sure you could read it if you put your brain to it. But, in fact, it says you made the cut. Don't fail me. So within the little packet came a bunch of stuff. We got our contract. One night to kill the Batman for $50 million. I'm really hating my camera right now because you guys can't see all this. 
And then within that, we have our Assassin Agreement, which basically just tells the process and what we agree to and what you're going to do because you're going to try and kill the Batman, or they're going to try and kill the Batman. Let me save him for last since he's my favorite. Alright, so here is our Assassins. Boom. So we have Shiva. She's pretty badass if you don't know her. And you got Copperhead. Yeah. And we got the Alex yeah, Electrocutioner. I'm still framing all this, by the way. Every single bit of it. I'm going to Walmart and I'm buying frames for every bit of it. So, next we got Firefly. And like I said, I hate that all the text is backwards. Then we got... Hey, I'm going to save him because he's one of my favorites too. And he's one of my favorites. So next, uh, he's one of my favorites too. Anyway, can only have so many favorites, you know. But yeah, I like him a little bit. So we got Deadshot. Deadshot's pretty badass. We got Killer Croc. Whom's even more badass. Then we got Bane. Yeah. And we got my favorite assassin. Who I just reached in the game, by the way. Yeah, he's a... Uh, He's proven to be a little bit difficult at, at first, but uh, I had to go somewhere, so I didn't get to really put no heart into trying to beat him, which I like, uh, you know, death strokes. I don't, I'm not too big a woman to kick his ass, but I've got to kick his ass because, you know, it's part of the game. I don't really want to do that, but we got to do what we got to do, right? Because he, he's trying to kill me. He's trying to collect $50 million, and excuse me just a second. All right, so next we got our game disc. I had to get it out of my game stash. So, within the game disc came all of our downloadable content, which was the first appearance of the Batman. And no, I will not turn this around for you to see my code for you to steal it. So, don't ask in the comments section because it's not happening. And then we got Deathstroke. You get to play as him in the challenge maps with five extra challenge maps. And like I said, to get your Nightfall pack, you must go online and download it. So, excuse me. So uh, next, it also came with a Blu-ray, Necessary Evil, Super Villains of the DC, which uh, features Sinestro, Lex Luthor, and Catwoman, and the grisly grandmother Joker. And then on the back of it, you got Deathstroke, uh, Bane, you know, people like that, people that matter. So I thought this was going to be an actual like cartoon or animated series or something. It is not. I was a little disappointed in that one. Uh, so, next, the book. This is pretty badass. I like the book. I really do. It's hardcover. Got the slip sheet, everything. Got a badass picture of Batman on the back of it. Now, when you open the book up, I haven't looked in it because I haven't beat the game yet. And it specifically says, Warning, proceed at your own risk. The following files may contain spoiler imagery. I did not want to look through the book for that exact reason because I didn't want to be surprised with anything so I mean as you can tell it's it's pretty detailed it's got a lot and I'm still not going to look through it so I'm just going to like randomly flip through it because I do not want to uh, look at anything in it until I in fact beat the game so uh, that's pretty much it now we move on to the grand finale of the bunch. Move Hulk. Yeah, I'm talking to my uh, miniature dog here. Uh, for those of you who want to know, this is Hulk. He's vicious, and if you piss him off, he will go Hulkly green and, and rip your head and throats out. So, yeah, I named a little dog a big person's name because I want him to have a a complex like that I didn't want him to uh, think he's a little dog so here's the grand finale the Joker statue which is awesome and we're doing good on time because I still got like another five minutes to talk your ear off so this is pretty much detailed you got a gun on the table your contract he has food he's got his grisly grim going on with his knife stabbing into a piece of paper or a piece of wood yeah piece of wood uh, that he's waiting to impale on somebody else so from there, you got money on the table. And right here is pretty cool. We got a headless teddy bear. Who does that? So in the back of it, 
you got these two little cubby holes. So one's right here. You, this is another spoiler alert, which I'm waiting until I beat the game to uh, check out. Now the statue does in fact include batteries, but they're cheap ass batteries that will bleed out over time. So be sure to take them out. Don't leave them in. So as you tell, the statue I found the button. There we go. The statue lights up. See? See? Off, on. Off, on. Off, on. You want to leave it off when you're not playing with it or using it. And how would you play with it? But I'm sure some of you will think of some way to play with this. Anyway, each TV screen pretty much shows all of the assassins, Deathstroke, you know. Firefly, everybody you can think of that's involved in killing the Batman for fifty million dollars that um, Black Mask has put on the Batman's head. So, uh, all in all, the game is turning out to be pretty badass, pretty wicked. Uh, I was a little hesitant at first because it wasn't made by Rocksteady, but it's turning out to be pretty cool. So. Uh, Guys, just go buy it for yourself and check it out. Like I said, if you didn't buy the collector's edition, it's going to be hard as hell for you to get one now unless you spend a lot of money. And for those of you who says this was a total waste of money, I don't give a damn what you think because it's badass. So with that being said, play the game, shut up, and thanks for